what is going on guys and we are back outside again on this sunday morning yes i came out here for a little bit to work um i was up nothing to do i said let me go ahead and get some try to get some money uh yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and take this trip to wood yard road uh pick up this guy I always pick him up he's about to go to so we got a 20 dollar trip that just came through up on empower uh, by taking on the wood yard road I always take this guy uh, he works at the Lowe's, but we got six minutes. So let me give you an update what's been going on, why I haven't been uploading. I really haven't had nothing really to talk about because uh, I really haven't really, you know, been grinding the gig economy game. I have been coming out like Tuesday, I mean, excuse me, Monday, Tuesday, but um, I actually just found like my mounts and all that. So I really didn't want to record and. I ain't had my mounts and all that. I, I misplaced both of my mounts, my chest mount and my uh, head mount. Um, kids are back in school, so I had to take care of that. As you guys know, I got two baby sharks. Um, took care of that. My lease is up for my apartment this month, so quite possibly searching for another apartment. Uh, I'll be deciding on that next week. Got a W-2. It's only supposed to be Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But since I've been in training, uh, yesterday I went in Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Now I already told the lady, not coming in this Wednesday. Um, so, because I am trying to get back on the gig economy grind. I think XD about to come down here too, guys. They keep sending out notifications about XD to my market and my people. So, we see about that. But um, not staying here too long. Uh, the reason is I thought it was supposed to be an evening time gig um, which that's what they was promoting on the website for Rider. it was supposed to be evening time but I guess they needed me on the morning time contract which I have to come in at 4.15 a.m. which I don't mind you guys already know I'm up early anyway um, but that's kind of defeating the purpose why I got a part time job because I was trying to bring in extra money not guaranteed money so let me explain <laughs> um during the day i still want to do you know my roadie you know my gig economy stuff and then you know whatever i make you know i was planning on going in an evening time for this uh job which is dealing with Krispy Kreme donuts but i'm working for riders their Krispy Kreme donut contract that they uh took over um so it was, well, my plan was to make my gig economy my gig economy money which you know i was trying to go hit like at least 200 a day between 150 <coughs> excuse me between 150 to 200 a day on um the freaking you know the gig apps that's not gonna work now because they got me coming in freaking four in the morning so uh we're gonna trap it out because it is bringing a guarantee 600 plus uh next the well i worked four days last week so that should be almost eight hundred dollars and it's not a 10 hour shift the, the, the route is super easy might be the easiest route other than you know the gig economy stuff that i ever done with a w it had it well it is the easiest route that i ever done with a w2 job so um we gonna trap it out for a little while uh that's guaranteed money but stuff should be about picking you know picking back up on the gig economy world so gig economy side of things i don't know about ride share but i'm talking about the freight wise things should be you know picking back up october so we'll see so let me go ahead pick up this passenger and i get back with y'all all right y'all so we got two cvs orders um one is paying 14 one is paying 10 dollars guys um going less than six miles go for the day is a hundred dollars because i do have an event at one o'clock so i'm quite possibly hang it up at like 10 30 um and i also have to try to go get my car glass fixed so uh, when i was coming back thursday from the part-time w2 uh i was walking you know to my door uh face up in my phone you know not paying attention my neighbor was like hey you see your car yet i said my car turned around my damn glasses bust out of my car my uh rear passenger glasses bust out of my car i'm like what the hell he was like, so i said you see what happened 
He was like, the lawnmower people did it. And I told the guy to stop. And he said, oh, I don't speak no English. I said, yeah, them, 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 them MFers don't speak no English when, you know, they did, you know, that they did, did something that they what you know not supposed to do, you know. So uh sorry for calling them MFers, but this dude right here, you know what he is. But anyway, so I went around the neighborhood, I found the truck, found a couple of them. They still hit me with the oh, don't speak no English. I said, man, we all supervise that. Somebody on this site speak English. They say they don't speak English. I said, I right, bet. So I took down the truck numbers and everything, called their company. English lady sound like a white lady answered the phone. Sorry for saying white lady, but that's what it sound like. Um, she said supervisor or uh, the vice president of the company was supposed to be calling me. This was Thursday. I've been calling every day, every day since Thursday. Today is Sunday. Uh, they closed today. So um, what's going to happen is I'm going to have to pay $250. Already uh, got a, a report from the security around the neighborhood. Uh, the, the neighbor said, you know, he already put it on the report that he seen them crack the window. Uh, well, b bust my glass. The rental office reported it to the company. So what I'm going to have to do is go up there. I'm pulling up. And I want to see where the energy at. Because if I got to do small claims, it ain't going to be no small claims for no $250. It's over. <laughs> yeah, because now y'all messing with my time and stuff all y'all gotta do is pay me the damn money to goddamn fix my goddamn window that i spent to fix my window and leave it at that your folks broke my car window so enough rapping let me go ahead and drop these orders off catch y'all later i might give y'all some car club uh footage after the end of this vi well at the end of this video so stay tuned all right so we about to pull up to this house I'm about to go ahead and do this delivery i don't know which one this is let me see the escobar escobar delivering to a drug lord huh so now nah. so we're about to go ahead and knock this out it's a simple drop it should be a simple drop it's going straight to a house we escobar at uh it would be the tv okay so Go ahead and scan that out right there. And usually I have my uh my labels pointing towards the back. Today I just threw this crap in here any other any way possible. Let me flip this right here. Get this up out of the way. this up out of here do this drop off so these TVs right here they're pretty light so I really don't use the dolly for these I just do this that's all I do I hope I'm at the right address oh I should have double checked let me see Double check right quick. Make sure I'm at the right address. Yep, I'm at the right address. These little bit of steps right here, I would do. That's it. I ain't that petty. <laughs> I ain't that petty, y'all. Hey, how you doing? Got it? Yeah. All right, you have a good day. You're welcome. And that's pretty much it. I don't walk it in their house. Close their gate. I don't do no walking in nobody's house. Just drop that crap right there. Ask them if they got it. And keep it pushing. Alright, so we're about to get this stop right here. This is our last stop of this batch order. This one got a little bit of weight to it. Oh, 
always have your labels on this side. Don't pay attention to what I'm doing today, but I always have your labels on this side right here so you can just scan. Makes life much easier. Do a quick scan. Y'all see with the TV, I just lift this, lift it up. But with this one right here, it's one of these little uh, dressers, dresser drawers. We gonna go ahead rolling in the grass, cause the car blocking the way. Hey, all right, you're welcome. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, got a little weight to it. All right, right. you welcome. All right, that's it. So I let her know that it has some weight to it. So she just won't pull her back. Uh, right there, I might have, you know, would have slid it through the front door for her. That's it, I don't go all the way in people's houses. It's a no-go for me right now, man. So, um, I'm not gonna catch the CVS order. So I'll probably, if I do decide to record at the car meet, post some of that, but if not, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we ain't leaving this car event. Just pulled up for a second, get y'all, giving y'all views of me leaving up out of here. Oh, man, and I had to pull up with my goddamn caravan, which sucks. Pretty pissed that I had to pull up with my, uh, my caravan oh lord let me up am trying to talk to y'all because this freaking um music playing hopefully i don't get a uh freaking copyright but they got it on the farm they got it on the farm and uh Came to support, man, yes, before I do this delivery. Yes, <laughs> What's up, ma'am? What's up? <laughs> yeah, so, uh, oh, I forgot I was recording, y'all, but. Yeah, so when when we do the when we do the um delivery, I do have another delivery engine. Come on, champ. 